um, almost um, a, a few more weeks till its fourth anniversary, and <clears throat> has been seeing um, these has been visiting these lectures uh, taught by this guy. Um, by the way, Bill is um, is L. Um, so after the doctor uh, catches her smiling in his lectures, because instead of because he, to him because to him um, because to him. Nah. When the doc, I think this is um, something that also worked well with Smith and Jones in two thousand and seven with um, the series three episode, um, where we got a new companion, but they were seeing the universe through a fresh, through a fresh pair of eyes, but with the same doctor, um, with the uh, the tenth doctor, and the same happened here with the um, with the twelfth doctor and Bill Potts. I would say the same for uh, Clara and the eleventh doctor, but there was also a story arc going on at the same time that had just started being set up. And also, um, the 11th Doctor sort of was looking for Clara, so it's not exactly the same as what happened with 10 and Martha, or 12 and Bill and Nardal, um, or 12 and Nardal and Bill, rather. Um, um, so I can, I, yeah, maybe she does make us, yeah, maybe she does try to remind, but besides that, it's never in the face, it's, ne and that's, other than that, it's ne other than those examples, it's never really that important besides the re relation between her and Heather. And because of that, I mean, there is, it's going to be, and double. And that's where on characters are. Okay, so there. Um, first, because it's a major disservice to be. But more on that later. Um, and we're going to get on to that in a moment. So, as mentioned, in the second act, Bill and Heather have, start, have started dating. Well, at least they started seeing. And we're, now, and, we're going, and we're about to get on to the plot. And it's some sort of oily puddle thing. Then it, we're making it... See, then it seems like it's trying to... Then it doesn't... Then it, ah. And is rather act, uh, it might it could be argued as a criticism, but for this story it works as opposed to when we get to Twice Upon a Time when it and uh, there is a there is no room. The puddle acting yeah, since this first Doctor Who story, um, not Curse of Fatal Death, the first proper um, official episode, the Empty Child of Doctor Dances, where they will, well, actually more like well the second episode actually, um, Doctor's Dan Doctor Dances, but the first story, um. There was the creepy stuff. Oh, actually, no. That was that's the. Uh... But when not? But when? And you could argue it was also done in um, Forest of the Dead with um, the uh, proper Dave when uh, he was taken over by the Vashti and the Well, actually, all of them, um, for two days, apart from that conversation seeing the Doctor had with one of them. Um, so yeah, there's been. A... And the empty child bit also had that moment when, um, and whilst this isn't repetitive, the, and whilst it's not a repetitive bit, the empty child does have the bit where, as uh, well, Doctor Dances has the bit where the empty child is um, saying stuff that isn't actually on the tape, so it's kind of building up the scare. Um, but yeah, this uh, this bit definitely. Um, but that being said, um, for those who predicted who it actually is correctly at the time, but that being, but it is a very easy predict, but it is, a, but it is, and you'd almost certainly be right. Um, it's even more predictable than the series, than the one, than the Missy reveal, it's even more of it. Here's a clue. It's even more predictable than the Missy reveal in series eight. There was a clue in that sentence. I was clearing that sentence. I hope you picked up on it. Those who have seen Extremis or later episodes of this series, don't say anything. We're going to get to the reveal. <coughs> Hold on, didn't I? Didn't I say that some, or something along those lines la in the last review? And out of the ones we've seen so far, it's probably the best looking.
Um, but yeah, it would have been nice. So yeah, it, it would be. It would have been nice, and this would have been. Um, even if it was the Remembrance Dalek, it, it'd still be appreciated because it's it's close. It's getting closer. Uh, because it's close, it's nearly there. You just have to make it a darker grey. But I will say this though: that using the Bronze Daleks does work for the friend of the few. Friend, in... thank goodness. By the time we get to Oxygen, he's probably going to become the best um, Capaldi Doctor, um, and he maybe even by the time we get to Oxygen, he's probably going to become the best. In fact, around the time we get to Oxygen, he's probably becoming. In fact, around the time we get to Oxygen, he probably becomes the best Capaldi Doctor companion. No. Um. Uh, let's begin with. But when she becomes the the puddle creature, she's a pretty, uh, a pretty great tar character. Uh, just, but she's still a pretty great character as uh, we find out what they really want afterward. Uh, after the um, after, as we re But yeah, they um, they're a pretty great character. Um, I hate Buffy. There's only really, and you know, you can change the relation to this character, and she, and, and you could change the relation of the characters, and it would mean, uh, no, fucking hell. But apart from maybe. Someone who um, was close with the mother, like a sibling or a, a grandparent. Um, sorry, <laughs> but apart from a direct relief, um, yeah, even some, even some of the characters who weren't so developed, even if they're not the most, if they're not the most, um, um, even if they're not, instead of a, the usual one, uh, usual parents or a proper uh, another, we're going to learn more about Bill and her, uh, Bill and her. A little, we're going to learn Bill and. We're gonna have no fuck's sake. Actually, it's just cut there. Post, uh, well, apart from the husband, um, getting autumn wear. Then Nicholas Briggs is always as amazing, and Nicholas Briggs is also amazing. So yeah, it's nice to see the Daleks again, even though it's just enough. So yeah, so yeah, the Daleks are still being. So even if they're overused a little bit, the Daleks are. So even if they're overused a little bit, I still like to see the. Fucking hell. So even if they're overused a little bit, it's still good to see the Daleks. It just would have been better if it was maybe a 70s or 80s Daleks for continuity, and it would have been fan service done right. Um, it's a it's a good little way. So yeah, I find it a pretty um pretty good episode. I thought it was a, a nice little. St next time, um, we go to a planet. I'll see you guys next time for series ten episode. Don't forget to click below to subscribe to the Nicholas Payne bonus content YouTube channel.